It is quite incredible. My first impressions are fantastic. I've lost my chin, or oh, I've gained my chin. All the baggage around it's disappeared. Five hours of surgery is a big deal by any standards. Carol's allowed five days of undisturbed convalescence at home. Then, Nikki comes knocking. So, Carol, how are you feeling? Um, a bit sore, and uh, the eyes are very tight at the moment. Looking great. So you've had the full facelift. Yeah. All around. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, I always get so like amazed at the amount of metal they put in people's yeah, heads. But Carol won't be alarming any airport security. Those staples and stitches will be removed in another five days. That's well, a fantastic start. We're, we're working in the right direction, definitely. <laughs> so how do we get to where we are today? I certainly wasn't using the right potions and creams. Um, I don't actually think I bought a moisturiser until I was 40. Carol's photo album reads like an object lesson in the importance of proper skin care. In her teens and twenties, Carol was a head turner with skin like a baby's bum. But turn the page and see the price of neglect. By her mid thirties, the complexion was papery and the eyes heavy. Did that affect your confidence? Possibly. This is the interesting thing. I'm hoping to find out the answer to that. Because I don't think it did make a difference to my confidence. Um, but I don't know. Wow. That was 40. So this was just before yeah. everything started One of, one of these changing. makeovers that... Uh, <laughs> Everyone has them in their Everyone's house. got to have one. I was so <laughs> disappointed with mine. Friends had had it done and, and you see the after shots yeah. and they look like film stars. Yeah. And I came out and it looked like me. And I was really disappointed. I wanted to look like someone else. We've no intention of turning Carol into someone else, but we have managed to apply the brakes on her aging just in the nick of time. A forensic photo prediction shows what would have become of Carol's face if left to its own devices. Her skin would have forgotten what supple felt like, resulting in heavier eyelids, darker bags and deeper crow's feet. Her forehead would have done a passable impersonation of a ploughed field. And the jowls would have gone the full Winston Churchill, making her look closer to 75 than 57.